and Fuku Dozier Charles, ex lecturer, retired lecturer of the University of Nigeria and Soka. They call me Akion, a member, teacher of all teachers. The situation at hand, I want to talk about. There is war. There's war in the whole world. Our common humanities are being challenged with this uh, COVID-19. In traditional African, Igbo African society, we used to have ways of uh, personal hygiene and uh, isolation of uh, uh, those who have uh, infectious diseases. We use kai kai, hot drink, water, soap, ufia, and so many other things. We use medicinal plants, medicinal tree stick to, for personal hygiene. And we use isolation. Like those who have leprosy, ebenta, they are they will, they will use we go to the evil forest or far away from human habitation and they build a, a tent for, for, the, for the patient. And they will be sending food to the patient. The same thing with other infectious diseases. Some are isolated. Even some children who have uh, measles or smallpox, the, those who don't have, they will send the children, those who don't have it, to the grandmother's place and uh, you separate Paul from Barnabas, you are isolate. So there is isolation in Igbo tradition. There is other means of uh, safeguarding our personal hygiene and, uh, and uh, safeguarding the community. Now, this COVID-19 has come. What are we supposed to do? And what are we doing in Igbo land and Africa. You see, people are asking, is it true? Just like they were asking, is there something like anything like this? But this one is real now. Our people should not dwell in on hope or faith. Because faith without good work is empty. We need personally to start from ourselves, personal hygiene, giving the distance, isolation, we cut down our social gathering. Because in olden days, if you have infectious disease, you are exempted from coming to the gathering, coming to village meeting or barrier. It's there in our culture. This thing, we use even a hot drink, kai kai, to wash our mouth, wash our face, and wash our hands in olden days. So, akuojuku, palm kane oil, and other things is there and uh, we don't neglect the sick we always provide for them but sometimes if it's facial disease we isolate the person we, we give social distance in our tradition now the same thing is being called upon and replicated now we need to do social distancing and again what are our people supposed to do we were talking, talking, thinking that it's very far away. It may not be very far away. We can stop it by doing personal hygiene, social hygiene, social distancing, and again, making provision in case every, we have lockdown and everybody to your tent, so it's real. We need to buy things, buy water, provide for water containers, for ourselves, provide our food in case because we are not running in e marketing here in Igbo land. So you, you can squeeze out money now and buy food items and those things they recommended hot drink and keep in case they say everybody should stay at home. Then, honors our, our rich men, please remember that death does not know anybody rich man or poor man now bring out some money now send to the people in your community to buy things to buy all these things where they are requesting then those people who are rich who have companies get out some money from your company and these boots to the masses then the local government should start now to uh, uh, dig borehole and provide the tanks 
even plastic tanks, putting them in the villages and loading them, filling them with water. It's not a mere talk, talk, talk. They, they, there is war. And if there is war, there will be mobilization. This COVID-19 is war. We must fight it. And we must fight it by mobilizing now. The local government should bring out money from the treasury, give to their workers to purchase uh, food items and other items so that they can stay, if they say they, for one month, so that they will have something to eat and to, uh, in order to stay at home. Because if they are hungry, they may be forced out to come out. Then the governors should mobilize bring equipment, uh, medical equipment to the, to the various hospitals, both private and uh, missionary and, uh, and the government. And they should go to, the, to, the, to their treasury and, if possible, pay workers one month or two months salary ahead so they can use those things to, to uh, plan and buy things and stock for their family. And those who are in the town, you should remember those in the, your villages. Send money home and, and uh, ask them to get things. Because we are, generally speaking, many people don't have money even to buy the thing that will last for two days. Now we need to empty ourselves. Because if you are a company owner and uh, your workers die and eventually will survive, who will work for you? Our common humanity is being challenged. We need to do something. The churches, those who come to your church, this is time to pay back, to give them something from your accumulation of wealth, collect even half and these boots so that they can use those things to buy stock and stock. When they have survived, they will see come back to your church. You gain. Banks should, should do something. Government should do something. Local government should do something. PG, present generals of towns, NDAZ or ANEZ, we must mobilize now. We must bring out things. We must provide things. We, the, we cannot shy away from this war. If we don't do something now to save ourselves, we, we may all go down. You see what is happening in other countries that refuse to prepare. We must, we must not fail to prepare. Because if we fail to prepare, we have already failed. If this thing comes here, we don't have, we have market, we don't have e-market, we don't have distribution center, and water is scarce, and food is scarce. How are we going to cope? So let us now empower our people with money and food so that they can get stock and water so that they can get stock in order to stay at home or have social distance and then survive it. It will come and go. But if we don't prepare, it may even reduce our population, reduce all of us. And I know our people say, if we can not have no. When one finger touches or it will go around, and hair, hair has no boundary. That is not a respecter of persons. Thank you, my people. Let's do something because faith without good work is empty. Thank you.